Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and I'm playing more Hogwarts Legacy. So let's clear this camp here. As we said, we would. Poacher in the wizarding world. Waste that. Revelio. Right. Fangs one. Oh. What is this? Um. Let's put the bag and this. So we can quickly grab Hello, it. Hello, Hamora. Fopper. Levios. All right. Oh, that was close. Almost got away from me. Rebellion. And I think there is another camp up here, right? Yep, 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 yep. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Ooh. These are high level, so never mind. <laughs> uh, the other nuts. Let's go towards there. Uh, there is a vendor down here. We might need to sell some stuff. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Who's that? I don't Why, even yes. know. She's my wife. Brilliant oh, historian. Did right. you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life Yes, 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 work? yes. I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. What do you have for sale? Let's okay. have a look, shall we? Family antique brim. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Seems to be unique and it's not like we're gonna use money or anything other than clothes at this point, so... Might as well. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. Oh yeah. You will. Um, all oh right, yeah, yeah. I chose not to wear this because our so current I one gives us damage by. in one of our spells. If I remember Revelio. Um, Accio. oh, right, that was an accident. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Just a camp. There's some cave up there. Nothing on this tower. Well, let's grab the balloons fast. Are there more that way? Go this way.
Revelio. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. It's another Stonehenge thing. What do you have in store for me this time? Village goggles. Alohomora. So we need a couple more uh, moon things for Mr. Moon. Thank you. Revelio. Oh, Quidditch equipment, so. Alright. Like, this is so weird, right? You enter a person's house and rob them in the middle of the night and nobody cares. Even the person themselves. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porik Haggerty, and this is my shop. W so that's what pronounced Porik? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? Why uh, so many questions? What sort of products do you sell? Do you I sell say? all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. He meant to say profit. <laughs> How long have you been living in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> she had other plans. She liked plants. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. Okay. What do you have for sale? I uh, know. What can I help you with today? All right, and he just sells animal stuff. Well, hippogriff feathers, Thank a you unicorn for hair, like these are stuff. We're not gonna get easy pastoral hair. Phoenix feather? You can catch a phoenix? For the vivarium? Glad you were able to stop by. Um, Rebellion! Uh, this probably, yep, contains something. Ah. Okay, it's uh, one of those big chests. Alright. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Just a chimney in the middle of nowhere. Mine now, dummy guys. Ooh, how oh, how I love good puzzle. There's one in here, isn't there? Yes, yes. That's eight. <laughs> I'll just drop it. Revelio. Uh, let's search the rest of the houses and then we'll go speak with her, right? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. There is a cave right below the village, it seems. Hello, Hamora. Okay. Revelio. Wait, is this outside or? Yes. All right. Oh, there is a. Jeweled brutes. This gorgeous brute depicts a magical bird of some sort, which, part which particular magical bird is unclear, but some believe it's meant to represent one of medieval Irish druides, Cleodnus birds, who sang the sick to sleep. Okay. 
Right. 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 And there is a chest somewhere here. Ah. Uh. Right. Cork corkscrew. Then there is this. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Yes, yes. Can see some of them. Rebellion. Don't really remember what I'm supposed to do with those. I guess that works. Rebellion. And where was the other one? There was one in the middle of nowhere. I remember. Yeah, here it is. More than one. Rebellion. And there is more. Not over here. There is a chest here. What? What are you up to now? Oh. All right. This looks intriguing. What else? Oh. Kabolsa. Alan himself would be proud. Just Rebellion. here, it seems. Sure. We must be thorough in our search of these hamlets. Ranrock already has troops searching other areas and landmarks, thus relocating you would only slow our efforts. Remain at your station. Continue the search. Be vigilant. You will be notified if anything changes. Hmm. Let's see what this witch wants. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I'll I had the you. energy. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. All right, let's see. Okay, it's not that far. Revelio. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Oh, and I see one of the Quidditch landing spots over there. Let's do this first. Oh, it's one of these. Alright, one, two, where's the third one? Oh, all the way over there. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Confringo! That didn't do it, did it? No. Alright. 
Let's try starting with this one. Get a better position, maybe. Oh, come on. I'm trying to jump on it without falling on the other side, right? Alright. Uh, go as far as possible. Ah, uh, no, I can't do it from here. But I thought I could maybe shoot that one from here, but a waste of time. Come on, come on, come on. That's enough time, it should be Confringo. more than enough actually. What's that? Set. Start with a hard one always. Under um, I wanna remove that marker. In there. Rebellion. So, do I actually have to do it correctly? And I just got lucky last time. Incendium. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It still won't say that we made it, right? But that should have actually unlocked something. Yeah. It just won't show for these. For some reason. Rebellion. Really nothing. There's no enemy. This place has seen better days. Okay. Forward, I guess. Rebellion. Ah. Incendio. Oh. Oh. Rebellion. Mm. We probably need that somewhere around here. Over here, then I guess. We open this thing. So difficult. Well, we might as well clear the clear the area since we did some of it, so we don't have to come back later. Oh, where is? Wingardium Leviosa. close to me thank you so we don't get stuck anywhere oh this needs to be frozen I guess judging from the mark on it Places. yep yeah I'm trying to I should invest Lumos <laughs> I will always interrupt him if he's trying to say the same thing for the 50th time, I will interrupt him. I might start hard focusing on star God. stuff and... Must have been quite stately in its time. Ignore side things so we can... <clears throat> progress and then maybe after we finish the story... Do a few episodes of just exploration. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Revelio. All right, there's a few of those. Oh, uh, why are there so many vases around here? Yeah, it's one of those battle arenas. Okay. Oh, to try to find all the vases. Total sociopath. This is an area with a lot of vases. First thought, let's destroy them all. Revelio. I think 
There should only be a few more vases. You think so? Oh. Confringo! What? Incendio! Okay. Revelio! She knows. She can feel it. There is exactly the one. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Well, before we do that, like the quest still shows here. Is this a different quest? No. No, it's this. Qu oh, okay. For some reason, it shows here, but South Coast Battle Arena. Everything's gonna be level thirty, isn't it? Oh no. Okay. Oh, come on. I should have blinked out. This is one two instead of one two three like the previous one. Look, one two. But then doesn't do the slam. For whatever reason. Oh. Good early. Oh, oh. The oh, these guys. Nineteen hundred damage. What did that matter? Incendio. Like, why can't I target these guys, right? What? It seems like uh, the game is ignoring Incendio. them and going for the guys behind. And I don't see why. Oh. 
Right, yeah, I can't pick this up or Maybe we should try to um Oh come on. Abuse the thing with a tank they're doing, but I don't remember. Jesus, this have a lot of HP. Uh, I think we can levitate them by the tongue or something. Why is he full life again? Oh, I can IQ them and spin them around. Yeah, yeah. And then do that on their nose. On their tongue. Oh. Alright. That was a long fight. Yeah, I see he does the third one. Unlike the other one. The Pulsar doesn't seem to do any damage. Oh, I got an achievement and I got distracted. I think it was uh, for a hundred hit combo. It was called Reaching Expectations. Oh, come on. That was some A level snapping. Yeah, Glacius doesn't seem to do any damage either. You didn't have, even have the time, Protego, to get Stupify. This wasn't even the last level, was it? Yeah. How nice of you to stop. Oh, are you for real? All right. Oh, come on. 
Like, why would you target the troll in the middle of nowhere instead of the guy that's right in front of me? Yeah, trolls are a magnet, magnet for targeting. Game. game just wants to focus on the trolls. Got me mid troll. really not enjoying this. Yeah, you can't interrupt uh, casts with the bolt so What? Hit me. Maybe we can use some of those, right? I keep forgetting it. We have consumables. It actually makes a difference in terms of damage. Huh? Why didn't the Pulso break the seal? Only target with uh, left or right. You cannot. You can only cycle essentially if you lock on. You cannot uh, target wherever you want at any time. You have to cycle through enemies to find them. Which is also annoying. Come on! Locking on is very annoying, and then not locking on is equally annoying. Uh, we need to. Oh. <laughs> we get loaded. Iframes. Keep pressing uh, RT and down instead of just down to heal and change the spell set. Like, I'm sure they could have done this better. But maybe because of the consoles and their, their controllers. They had to find a way like this to do so many spells. Um, 
Up to me. One less foul hawking bird. Uh, why would I restart this? No, let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Combat works fine uh, if you're not uh, underpowered. Even being a tiny bit underpowered it gets old very fast. Oh, that's here again. Just keeps moving around. I don't think this is accessible, is it? Revelio. Don't see a way. It's probably for a quest or something. Um. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, a very annoying really? one. Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Rebellion. What the hell is this cave? There is a cave right below this hamlet. But I don't see an entrance. Is it over here? Oh, well, this is not a cave entrance, but. Incendio. Alright. Revelio. Maybe it's from inside one of the locked houses, like a cellar of sorts. I don't know what else to think. I don't see a... Not even a well we can jump into. Yeah. Um, no, screw them. We'll just Rebellion. go to our objective and finish the episode, I guess. Wait. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're a bit unsettling. Um. Accio. This is probably. This could prove dangerous quick. if we're not careful. Lumos. Right. And then it's just just here. Rebellion. Not even. Oh. Can bring them. Definitely not worth it. Well, except for removing the cave marker from the map. 
Isn't that the point? Lumos. Probably just a coin pouch. Oh, this uh big village. It has two of these. Practice dummies. The residents of Feldcroft sometimes use these to practice their spellcasting, especially in light of recent goblin attacks. Alright. Revelio. Something in here. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still a fool, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Oh. Um, yeah. I think I'm inside their house. This is my potion kit, not yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess this is Anne. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> Revelio. I wonder who lives here. The Feldcroft well. The well in Feldcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during a great doubt. drought. Oh! Sadly, many perished as a result, including at least one young boy whose father refused to speak for years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used the never before seen powerful magic to restore water to the region. So, this is the place. And I guess that's the cliff they were standing on. All right, all right. We found the place. There's a Revelio. couple of chests here. Shell, metallic. This what is do rock. we have here? A demigod. Yeah. Uh, if you say so. All right. After a bit of dying, are we? Landing is unavailable. Oh, come on. They let me get in but not land. Revelio. Um, I don't see anything else. I don't see the exit either. Oh, here. Layout is weird. Alright, I'm gonna sell my useless stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. Wait. I am Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? There's dialogue. Oh, let's do this faster I'm then. I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. Right. 
What do you sell here? Glad you asked. <laughs> I sell the After the serious conversation. products you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. Um, do we care? What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit, I didn't choose it. It chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts. And my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. What do you have for sale? Again, what we'll buy anything rare. Oh, right. She doesn't sell anything rare. So I guess I'll A see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.